Hey, welcome back to yet another episode of A Guide to Cloud. In this particular episode, we are going to see how you can install OneDrive on a per machine basis. By default, the OneDrive client installed as a per user on Windows, meaning the OneDrive.exe needs to be installed for each user account on the PC under the local app data folder. In this case, what we are going to go do is go into the session desktop and we're going to download the new per machine version of OneDrive from that particular website. So once again, you don't have to worry about where you can get the link. I'm going to put all these details in the blog article, which I'm going to put right down in the description as well. So please make sure to check out the latest article by going into www.aguidetocloud.com So I'm going to run this particular installer now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to launch the command prompt using the admin rights but we need to make sure that we install the OneDrive setup.exe for all users. So I'm going to execute this command, which I just put in the com command prompt. It is going to launch the installation straight away. Looks like the installation has stopped because this has detected a newer version of OneDrive is installed. So the reason for that is I have used a Windows 10 multi-session with Office 365 Pro Plus within that image. So when you pick that instance from the Azure gallery, what does that mean is you will get a Windows 10 multi-session with all the Office 365 components installed. That means I don't have to worry about installing the Office Pro Plus, which means I will get the Outlook, PowerPoint, Word, Excel, Access, Publisher, OneDrive, etc but it is not installed for per machine basis. It is installed for per user. So what I'm going to do now is going to uninstall the OneDrive, which comes by default within that VM. And I'm going to install the newer version, which is exactly what we need to install on this particular machine, because I'm going to give this session host to multiple people to access it. So that every time a user sign in to a VM, they can launch this OneDrive and start using it based on a per machine basis rather than a per user basics. So I uninstalled the existing version I had on this particular session host. I'm going to again execute the same command, but again, please make sure you install this installer on an all user mode. So I executed the command. This time looks like the installation is going through and it is going to install successfully. Now that the OneDrive has been installed on this local session host, let's head back into the session host as a user. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch the remote desktop connection app and I'm going to type in the details of a particular user who's got access to sign in to the session host. So I'm going to use the user called a bird person, which we've been using that particular user a while because all of the demonstration is around session host so far. So I'm going to sign in with that user. What I'm going to do after that is configure the OneDrive for the first time. So I'm sure when we sign in, the OneDrive wouldn't be configured for that user for the first time. Every time I have to do this particular change, which is to change from default all display mode to a single display mode, because I use multiple window for this recording. So one, one screen I have the recorder running, Another screen is where I do all the activities. 
So if it spans to multiple screen, I won't be able to show you what I'm trying to show you there. So I have a file on my desktop, which I'm going to write now, keep it there. Uh, I'm going to launch the OneDrive for the first time. This is going to be the experience for you when you try to use uh, the per machine based OneDrive as well. So for the first time, sign in with the same user account. And uh, once you give in your credentials, it is going to ask you to put in the password and make sure you do that. I think this is only going to be one time thing. And then you will be welcomed inside your OneDrive. So this is where you can configure things like a known folder move or you can use OneDrive for backing up your entire session host etc. I don't have any file at the moment. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the file I already had into OneDrive. As you can see that the sync started happening. I'm going to create a new Excel file within the OneDrive to show you other features like on demand or always make it available on local PC rather than in, in the OneDrive. So I'm going to right click on that file. I'm going to make sure that keep always available on the local machine. So you can see two differences. One is the green box, which says that it is going to be always available on the local PC. And the second one is uh, just the sync box, which means that this is only available when I ask for the details. So when I double tap on the particular file, it is going to So let's launch the OneDrive one more time to see if we can see the file changes. Fantastic. I can see all the changes what I've made. One file is on demand and one file is always there on the file. Recently, OneDrive team has added the known folder move functionality support for the OneDrive for Windows Virtual Desktop as well. Activating known folder move is relatively super easy. You can use the manual approach by opening the OneDrive client from the start menu and click on the update folder. You can go and use the same functionality like backup all the files which is there in my folder using this feature as well. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that information provided today was super helpful. I will see you on the next one. Thank you and stay safe.